I think that events like the Fit and Fundraiser at Oceania Club, um, I think that what events like this do and their value is that initially they really introduce Special Olympics Florida to a group of people that may not have been aware of what we were doing in their community. And so I think that in, you know, initially when we, we start an event like this, it may not be an, an immense fundraiser, but what happens is that you start to really um, tap into uh, a demographic, an area, Sunny Isles, we really had never had any presence whatsoever, and now I think that we really, people really understand what we're doing here, and they really want to support us more, and then from there that grows. This fundraiser grows in addition to um, uh, you know, get tapping into this community to maybe get involved with some of our other fundraisers or really just to become larger donors on their own. And so then that becomes our job to really, you know, make sure that we're, we're stewarding our, our, you know, potential donors and really showing them what would be possible with more support. But I don't think that there's any, I would, I would not say that there's any fundraiser that's not worth doing because of that. I think it winds up really creating wonderful marketing opportunities. What I have learned working for nonprofits is that they are incredibly, you know, we are operating with a, a tiny staff. If we were a for-profit company, we would probably have 100 people doing what we have seven doing. And so something that I really do like to educate people on, I know that, you know, a lot of our, a lot of donors will say, well, I want to make sure that this money is going directly to the program. And we're, Special Olympics Florida, where we really can proudly say that 87% of every dollar goes directly to the program. But I've also learned working for a nonprofit and working with other nonprofits that there's a great need for administrative staff and for support staff. And if you actually want to run an organization that is um, uh, really well run, that you do need that support as well. And I don't think that people should be, um, uh, you know, I think people should also be proud to support the people that run organizations like Special Olympics Florida.